Hi, I'm Tom Flavin. As part of Pigtown Culture and Food Series, I'd like to take you on a journey through Limerick, a gateway to the Wild Atlantic Way, a home of culture, creativity, history and heritage, meeting our wonderful food producers and showcasing the best of Limerick produce. So here we have some um, free range pork belly from Karen Rigney and Curry Chase. I'm going to slow cook it. Um, and I suppose just because I spent a bit of time in the Philippines, I knew how they, they do pork belly adobo, but we're doing pork belly adobo Irish style. Pork belly adobo is a very traditional Filipino dish. So the pork belly, you're looking for layers of fat and you're looking for lovely layers of meat. Still a little bit of bone in this, we can take them out afterwards. Okay. Um, if you wanted to roast this and serve it as a roast with a nice crispy skin, you could just pour some boiling water over the skin now and it kind of it breaks it down and it helps the fat to crisp when you're cooking it, but we don't want it like that. We're just going to score the skin a little. So with a sharp knife, sharper than that one, we're going to just score the skin. So you're not going through the meat, you're just going into the, into the fat. So that'll allow for the seasoning to go through right into the, into the meat. So for, so she's prepared it perfectly. So for this recipe, you need a little bit of salt. So we're gonna rub in the salt into it. So we tweak it a little bit differently. So we're using Ackle Island sea salt from Mayo. And the, it's Atty Flynn cider vinegar is what we're using. And that helps to break down the fat. So about 100 mils of cider vinegar. And then within the vinegar, we have this lovely garlic. This is the first garlic of the year, I just picked it. Lovely Irish produce, but you're doing like an Asian style dish with it. So with the onion, you can keep these tops for later. The, the scallions are lovely in soups or pureed in oils as garnishes. So we're just gonna roughly chop the onion, roughly chop the garlic. So you need a couple of cloves because this is fresh garlic and it's not traveled halfway across the globe. So you need a couple of cloves and it's got loads of flavor. The same with the onion, just roughly chopped. And one of the key ingredients then for adobo, of course, is bay leaf and, and peppercorn. So with that all chopped up, rubbed in. Um, we already have the apple cider vinegar. I'm going to use some apple juice as well, Eddie Flynn apple juice, and it just adds for the sweetness of it. So you have the vinegar and the juice, and then you cover it over. These onions are quite strong. So again, fresh bay leaves. So that goes covered into the oven. So we'll just slip a bit of grease with paper, it helps keep the moisture in it so it doesn't dry out. I'm going to cover it with a bit of tin foil. If you had a lid that fits the jar, it would be better, so we'd be more kinder to the environment by not using tin foil. So we're going to slip that in to the oven for around four hours at 90 degrees, nice and slow. Right, so with the pork belly, we're going to pair it with some apples, and no better than Atty Flynn. Uh, we're going to flavor the apples with Addy Flynn apple juice. We're going to make some little, very thin slices and dry them. So slice them on a mandolin. If you don't have a mandolin, you have a sharp knife. But if you're using a mandolin, mind your fingers because I've had plenty of cuts from these. So we're going to slice them really, really thin and lay them onto parchment paper. Like this. And then any of the extra bits you can keep for the applesauce. So you put them into a low oven, about 100 degrees, and leave them for about 15 minutes. So for the applesauce, we're going to peel the remaining apple. And we're going to use it, just make a very simple applesauce. 
but we're going to cook it with the Atty Flynn apple juice. It just adds extra flavour to the apple. So we're just going to slice it up without the core. So just chunks of apple into the pot. Very simple. And you can use um, Bramley apples for these or you can use Cox apples. Um, depending on the time of year, I suppose, what apples you have in season. Just chunks of apple. And it cooks very, again, very slowly. So we're going to add just a few drops of the apple juice. A lot of the time you don't need any sugar or any other seasonings. Just a little bit of juice. And then you just cook that over medium heat until it gets really soft. And you can puree it or you can just mush it with a, with a fork. Here I have some already done in a bottle, ready to go. So after four hours in the oven, the pork will come out and it'll be lovely and juicy. So we're going to press it and rest it in the fridge overnight. Then you take it out when it's cold and you portion it into squares like this because we're using it as a starter, but you can put them a little bit bigger if you have it for a main course. So I've made up a glaze. So here we have, again, some antiflin apple juice and cream honey. So it's just some local honey from down the road. So we just mixed it together and we just put a little bit on top of each piece. And back into the oven, but this time the oven is going to be a little bit hotter. So this will take about 15 to 20 minutes on about 180 degrees. So for plating for the pork belly, we're going to use start with some of Donny's leaves. Donny O'Brien in Belly Gran. He grows these wonderful salad leaves during the summertime. So we just arrange them nicely on the plate. And we're going to put some fresh apple. So just very thinly sliced apple. And then we cut it. We call it into little strips, julienne, and it just adds a little crunch to the salad. We're going to use some apple chutney, which I made earlier in the year. And we're going to use some apple chips that we made earlier on. We're then going to get our pork belly. And we're going to place that in the center here. And then we're going to use some of the some of the glaze as a dressing. Just drizzle it throughout. We also have the apple puree which I have in the bottle here. So we're just going to put a few dollops of apple puree into the dish. And here I have some nasturtium flowers and leaves. And it just brightens it up a little bit. There's a lovely spice to the nasturtium as well. There we go. Carolyn Rigney's pork belly with Atty Flynn apples.